Welcome back to another spiritual vlog with the Courageous Sage. <sighs> Eyes are the gateway to the soul. See that? <laughs> Eye contact is one of the best things you can do in a conversation with anybody. When you're talking and you're directly using your eyes, you can change people's entire expressions. You can speak to them on layers and layers of levels that they may have never even heard of or considered. When you use your eye contact and you believe in what you are speaking and communicating, your eyes say everything. You don't have to say anything. Your eyes speak that truth. Your eyes are just these light receiving and receptors that send out and communicate on their own. The eyes are directly connected to the solar plexus, the fire. They are the fire of your soul. They're communicating, connecting. And when you look in somebody else's eyes, you let them know you care. You let them know that they, you can look directly into the fire of the truth of who they are. And that you can be comfortable with that. I look everybody in the eye. I also have a trick about looking in people's third eye. And see what you do is you basically cross both the eyes until you see a third eye. So if I was going to look at these two circles, I'd cross my eyes to see a circle in the middle. You may have even heard this trick where you point your fingers out like this and then you see a little, you get it close enough, you see a little floating eye, your floating finger in the middle. That was a little magic trick that I was taught out of a book in elementary school, but it still helps with the picture. You may have even seen those pictures that you look at it one way, it looks just like a bunch of blah on the page, but then as soon as you cross your eyes, you see the elephant hidden in the image. Eye contact eyes have so many ability. You're able to perceive the beauty of life with your eyes. You're able to experience what it is that's going around you through these receptors of light. You're able to see the photons of light reflecting off of everything around you. And light is a vibration. These are vibrating to receive vibration. When I'm trying to state a point or talk to someone that I care about, or anybody really, but especially when I'm trying to share with them something and they're trying to share something with me, I directly look in their eyes, let them know that I'm present, let them know that I'm here for them, let them know that I'm softening my gaze. My gaze isn't harsh. I try to allow them to re realize that through my eyes is a reflection of them, of their selves. When I look in somebody's eyes, what I see in their eyes is the reflection of what they see of me. And when they look in my eyes, they see a reflection of what they are in my eyes. So I always make my eyes the most loving, compassionate place for everybody to find their gaze and allow them to see what is their selves, their truth within the reflection of my eyes so that they can experience their true selves through these mirrors that I have. I'm so grateful for these mirrors. I'm so thankful for these mirrors. They see so much beautiful light. I see so much light everywhere I am. I'm seeing the light right now. I mean, I know you are too because you're seeing this video right now and if you're not, you're hearing it. And if you're hearing it, hearing is pretty much sound is light. Sound is pretty much light because it is a vibration. It's moving the particles just like light does. So, you know, sound and light, they're the same thing in my book. So is electricity, so, you know. Use your eyes for good. No need for that harsh eye, those evil eyes they call them there's that's baloney you know ahimsa <sighs> block that real fast 
and I don't even have to uh, hymns it. I just look them in the eye and they see the truth either way. They know that that isn't going to work with me. I let them see the fiery blaze of truth that's within me. I don't have to put on a show. I just look in their eyes. And I pray that your eyes may be cleansed and purified, that you can see the truth, that you can see the light, that you can see with these eyes clarity, that you can see the benevolence of life. I pray that your eyes may illuminate the room, that they may glow into life and existence, and that through your eyes is a direct connection to the soul, and that when you smile, you smile with your eyes. You're all beautiful, and I can see that. I'm so grateful for you. I can see that. You can see that. I pray that you all connect to this fire and allow it to manifest into a will of pure love and that all you shine through your eyes is pure love and that when you look at somebody, you reflect the true beauty within them in your eyes. I pray that your eyes are healthy and vitally charged and I pray for all the best blessings for you and your family and friends. So, I see you, I see the light within you, namaste. The light within you recognizes the light within me and I can see it through your eyes. And your entire aura, really. Uh, that'll be another point. I'll talk about how to see auras and you know how to see the energetic fields because it's really pretty much simple once you start not focusing so much on the physical, you start to relax your eyes, and when your eyes are relaxed, you can start seeing all the other motion of energetic fields and things that are moving around all the time. And we don't have to so much connect to color for it, but just seeing the energetic field is enough for now. So, why don't you try that out? I, I challenge you to start seeing a different color. Start visualizing a different color. Start seeing an energetic field around things. Seeing the plants that have energetic fields. Because the planet has an energetic field. A toroidal field around it all the time. So do we as beings. And so do the plants and animals. And I challenge you to see it. So, Have a blessed rest of your day. May you shine with the greatest blessings of light and love. And namaste. Thank you.